for this question called cost schedule 2. Well, this question is actually very similar to the previous cost schedule. So if you haven't checked out my previous video, uh, please uh, check my previous video about a cost schedule so you get a sense what uh, that this question look like. Okay, now let's dive straight into the graph explanations on how to solve this problem. Well, before joining the graph, we'll see okay, the previous one, we only need to check we can finish the graph or not, so return true or false. But this one, additionally, we need to obtain the correct order to finish graph. So additionally, we need a result array uh, to record obtain a correct order uh, when we traverse the entire graph. Okay, now let me draw a graph to help you understand. So first, let's say we have a graph, and the graph has had node 0, uh, and had node 1, and generate node 2. If that's the case, this means uh, to take cos 0, we have to take cos 1 first. And to take cos 1, we have to take cos 2 first. And finally, cos 2 had no prerequisite, so we can directly uh, obtain uh, the cos 2. Now, to do this depth search problem, we also need a VG set. And let's say we have VG set here. For the VG set, we have three key values. One is zero, one is two, and one is one. We also need a graph to record the cost and the prerequisite. Let me use different color and draw the graph here. Okay, so here's a graph. We also have three keys, uh, which is called 0, 1, and 2. We have 0 here, we have 1 here, and 2 here. Now first, we want to traverse the entire uh, graph to record the cost and prerequisite. So see, here we have 0, and the only prerequisite is 1. So we want 1 here. And after that, we check what the prerequisite is 1. The only prerequisite of 1 is 2, right? Or 2 here. And finally, what is the prerequisite of 2? But 2 has no prerequisite, so we only need MP array. Okay, now finish building the graph. And the other thing is to traverse the entire graph and uh, to write the value for the visit set. So let me use a different color here. So here, let me start at 0. Our 0 is visited, but not completely, so write this minus 1. Then one of the zero prerequisite according to this is one. So one is now visited but not yet completed. And now we go down to check. The one only prerequisite is two. Okay, so two is visited but not yet completed. Now we found okay, two has no prerequisite. We can change two from uh, visited to completed. Let me change two from minus one to one to uh, completed. The next step, uh, we found okay. 1 is only prerequisite, it's 2, right? And 2 can be completed, so 1 can also be completed. So let's change 1 uh, to 1 to mark completed. And finally, we see 0 is only prerequisite, 1, and 1 can be completed. So uh, 0 can also be completed, so let me change 0 to 1 also. You know, in the previous question, we have already finished up to now, and we want to like return true, but in this question, however, uh, this is not enough because we want the correct order to finish all, uh, all the courses. So we need a result array, and the result array uh, will first restore this 2 because this is first completed, and then restore this 1 because it's second completed, and finally restore this 0 because it's last completed. Okay, so this is result, and we return this array, it should be done. Okay, now you can sense all that this question. A solution look like. Let me dive into the coding part. Okay. So first, let me add the general framework to solve those graph uh, questions. And first, as similar to the previous questions, we need the graph, uh, which has the length of the array, uh, in range numbers of courses. Cost face here to here. And we also need visit set. So let's initialize the value. Visit set is zero. Uh, in void, two of our duplicates and one and minus one. Okay, just copy paste here. And also, uh, 
different from previous question, you need to resolve the array to restore the correct order, right? So you need to resolve and put the array. Now finish with that, so let's uh, build a graph according to the causes and the prerequisite. So uh, for i in the prerequisite, we want to get the cause and the prerequisite from this i. I want to build uh, the, the graph according to the cause and prerequisite. So graph the cause or pen on uh, these prerequisites. Okay, now finish building. Uh, let's go to check uh, check uh, the video set. Well, to do this, we will traverse down uh, the numbers courses. Let's call the cost in all courses. If we call the helper function, which we run later, we call the helper function and we found okay, this is not true. Then we have to return an empty. Which indicates uh, we cannot uh, get the correct order to fit all the courses. So this one, the variable will be graph, the video set, the digital, and the course. Uh, if we traverse this, this is not the case, this means we can finish, so we have to return the result. We now finish the main function, uh, let's dive into the helper function. A help function. Um, as explained here, we have these four variables. So let's copy paste it out here. And after that, you found okay, this visited this means we have to return false. Okay, visited and completed, then we have to return short true. And after that, our error time visited a uh, node, we must uh, mark the visit to avoid visiting the future. And if we finish checking neighbors, we mark it completed. Uh, means we can successfully traverse the node and, and prerequisite. But between the visit and completed, we also need to check all the prerequisite. So let me copy paste um, this word here. And okay. Then we turn the results. So now finish coding comments for helper function. Let's think about how to write code this. Well, so first, if I'm going okay, to uh, the visit. This cost value is minus one. I will immediately do false. But if it cost is one, we need to return true. But it so mark is minus one. And for completed, just mark is uh, is one. So you still see. Okay, so the final step is to check uh, all the prerequisites of this course. So for all prerequisites uh, in graph and using cost as a key, uh, we want to check if the prerequisite satisfies its helper function. If the prerequisite does not satisfy its helper function, we need to return false. Uh, because if we cannot finish the prerequisites, we cannot finish the course, right? That's part of its variable, the visit set the results, and change cost to prerequisite cost. And finally, before returning the result, uh, we have to append uh, this append our uh, cost result. Result dot append the cost. Now let's submit the result to see if it actually works. Okay, you see the time capacity memory usage of this solution is really efficient. I think it's overall very easy to understand. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.